Good morning. Um, got all the honey ran last night. Ended up being ten supers instead of nine. Uh, did decent. Didn't did about what I expected. I'm gonna fall a little short of my goal, but not by enough to make any difference. Looks like we're gonna come in somewhere around 42, 45 gallons, something like that. Um, with that being said, all these are now considered wet supers. They have honey residue left in them, pollen. Uh, I've got them on a pallet and cross stacked. We're gonna take these out with the tractor, set them 50, 60 yards from the bees uh, and let them go through all this. And of course, they're gonna take it back and put it back in the comb that's in the hive. Uh, so I'm gonna get on the tractor and I'm gonna move these dudes out there. Then I'll come back and I'll run what's left in the cappings tank into a bucket and uh, we'll look at that. the back of the cappings tank get all that honey pulled down here in the front I've got my bucket ready the only honey that's in it's what I ran out of the extractor uh, there's always a certain amount that's left in the bottom you know hey you want to get it all that's, that's part of why we do it that's what's paying for the the fun of the hobby so here we go let's see what we've got collected Oh, some pretty honey. It's gonna run here and I'm gonna even this out a little. Seems a little darker for this fall run than it was in the spring. That's all right, it'll have a lot richer honey flavor which I prefer anyway 
I can hear it hitting the bucket in there. It's it's running pretty good now. You want to crack the tank. Now up in the top of the capping's tank, you're going to see the comb tools anything that was left typically I'll go back and this comb on tops it's it's fairly dry as you can tell but there's going to be some wet honey in here that you want to recover I just call it fluffing you just push this around so that honey can move again I'm going to stick all these in the freezer and render it down for wax later for candles, beeswax, uh, soap, lip balm, and then just extra wax to wax your foundation and frames. One thing about the capping's wax, it uh, has very little comb wax in it. It renders out beautiful, a creamy color. You want to make sure to put it in the freezer until you're ready to render it. Yeah, absolutely correct because everything that those bees didn't clean when this was on the hive is now right here and you can't you can, like I said earlier you can't trust it to be just sitting out between the moths and the beetles and the bees something won't it to get this where I can lift the tank and we'll look and see what we've got once it drains down below the, the gate. Oh, yeah, it's still a decent still, amount. Still a pint of honey in it, I'd say. Once it drains down below the gate, I'll tilt it further and take a spatula and rake it all through the gate and into the strainer and we'll get everything cleaned up okay we're going to go out and, oh i'm going to say as nervous as everything is here in the bee yard bees in the air i think we've <clears throat> had these super set out now now oh, maybe 10 minutes um walk out here and see if it looks like maybe they have found them you know honeybees can empty a super way quicker than they can fill one yep they are in the process remember this has only been 10 minutes or so since I brought these out. They are in it, on it, and getting it back. Now this still isn't anything compared to what it's going to be here shortly. You want them to be able, these are cross stacked this way for a reason. You want these bees to be able to go in the top, come out the bottom, get all around it. There's a freeloading wasp of some type. He's coming to see about getting him some honey this morning. You want the air to get to it. So the smell of the honey gets in the air. You want the supers cross stacked so the bees can go in and go out anywhere they want. Whatever speeds this up, that's what you're after. You want these clean. You don't want to leave them out overnight. Uh, in some cases I have had to 
set them in under a shed in case it was going to rain. You don't want that comb filling up with water and then you're going to store it and then the comb's going to end up molding while it's being stored over winter. Mold's not necessarily a huge problem, but it's not anything also that you want to have to deal with or that you want your bees to have to deal with. They will clean it up and put honey in it, but why do you want to create them more work? That's part of why we save this stuff. That's part of why we do everything we can to aid their success. You can see them, they're just in there, they're stacked in it. They're stacked down in that super now. Like they were if they were in the hive. I hope you can see them lined up in there. They're starting mm -hmm. at the top, the bottom, the middle. They can care less that I'm standing here. They're gonna get all of this that they possibly can. Thing about honeybees. In their world, there's nothing goes to waste. Mm -hmm. My Jack Russell dog, he uh, he won't come down here. He's had a bit of an experience. <laughs> as a puppy wanting to help in the bees he smarter than he's been given credit he learned one time so like i was saying this this is just going to increase in bees uh, they'll make short work of this i'll expect to be back up in the shop putting this up and Oh, somewhere around three o'clock they'll have this dude dry. Bees were in. Pollen flow this morning early. There one a bee just carried something out. A piece of trash. Could have been a larva of some kind. Could have been their larva. Could have been a moth larva. You can tell bees are leaving here and going to those supers, coming back. Other bees are excited, cleaning, working. Throw to the hives, completely mm -hmm. full of bees. Once that honey got set out, they quit that pollen source in there. They're helping clean it up. That's good. What brief time I looked at the bees when I was taking honey. Bees all looked great. There went one had some pollen. She hadn't heard the news yet, I guess. They'll explain it to her. All right. Strawberry trees produced everything that you need to know as a farmer produce raiser is that the world's best pollinators, the honeybee, is responsible for all that extra fruit. Hello, Pistol, did you decide to join us? Good boy. All right, we'll check back in here in a little bit. Okay, so we started bringing our bringing our supers in from out in the yard. The bees have got them dry. I just do a little bit of cleanup. This is just something that uh, you don't have to do. 
but it sure does make me feel better. Uh, bees are going to rebuild it. It doesn't take but just a minute. Break that comb off the bottom of these frames. It's just going to take them a little bit longer. Oh, hello, pistol. To put it back when you put the supers on in the spring. I get in here in the floor, set me up a super, drape it, make sure my frames are all seated well. If I've got anything I don't want so that's going to cause a problem with the box's ceiling, I knock it off. Anything on top comes off. Then it goes on the stack that I've already cleaned and the bees have cleaned. Press that down a little bit. Um, you can tell that made that three high. I'm going to clean this back up and clean this medium super. I'm going to put it in underneath. Um, Five, high, five supers is about what your paramoth will cover. Paramoth is a crystal used to deter the moths from the comb. It removes the oxygen inside of these boxes when they're properly stacked. I've already cleaned the bottom of this one. So what we want to do is we want to take this one back off. We want to drop this other medium so that we keep those three mids together. Stack them. Now I've got my uh, stack going square, tight. This will get out of the way. I've got my five squared up, lined up. Now I've been talking about this paramount. I want to show you what it is that I do next. I add a paramount drawer. Paramount drawer just makes a place for us to put the crystals so that the crystals evaporate, the fumes fall, and protect it. It will go right here on top of the fifth box. Drawer closed. Grab the Paramount. This is the Paramount crystals. Got a new tub I picked up today. Very pungent work where you are not in a confined space. The hotter, the hotter it is where you're keeping your super stored, the quicker this goes to fume. Probably got enough left to go one more round. Uh, I'm going to grab another couple supers. I'll be right back. Okay. couple more supers. We're going to see if we got anything we need to clean up, scrape off. 
this doesn't seem like a big deal right now and it's really not a big deal to do it just work but if it helps you you can just think about the honey that you'll produce quicker next year all right so this super now goes right on on top of the drawer okay so just like that so it locks on and when i say lock on the propolis on the edges of the box will cause that to stick to the drawer fair moth crystals have already been added drawer shut but these are designed so that now when I come back over winter and want to add paramol, I just slide the drawer out, add more, and close it. I don't have to stack equipment, or excuse me, I don't have to unstack equipment to put in the paramol. And so from then and from then on, it's just repeat process. I can hear the bees outside. They're cleaning up the uh, uncappings tank. Let's stick our head outside. Pistol, you may want to stay in here, little buddy. Now, try not to bring everything out here at one time. Uh, try to do it in stages these bees I, I want them all concentrating on the items that I bring out that uh, that keeps them motivated on one project there's Mr. Hornet picking up some free wax might have a little honey on it for him these bees are doing a great job this had quite a bit of honey residue and as you can tell it just they just till through it and it gets down to uh, dry cappings activity slowed tremendously uh, they're all getting piled back up at the house It'll be dark before too awful long a lot cooler right now but these boxes are choked down tight like we talked about when I pulled the honey and uh, you get an idea of this box especially it is some kind full of bees. Pull some of this grass out of the way. They're getting settled in pretty nice now. When all the supers were out and full, they were in a roar. I removed that tray yesterday and cleaned it and flipped it up and went ahead and left them with the vent um, they're settled in pretty good for tonight it's it's slowing way down they'll have this cleaned up another few minutes and back to the house they'll go still got a few bees picking at these supers over here I guess they're the 
Mr. Red Wasper. And these must be the ones that are absolutely overachievers. You can see what they've done. You saw some uh, frames that had been spun, frames that had honey. That frame is dry. You couldn't, you couldn't get a fingerprint to stick in it. All right, well, I'm gonna continue on. It's just peat and repeat at this point. 